What are crystals? When we hear the word crystals, we usually think of colored minerals. But those are not the only types of crystals. Graphite in pencils, table salt, and snow are crystals, too. What all crystals have in common is an extremely well-organized molecular structure. In a crystal, all of the atoms, or ions, are arranged in a regular grid pattern. For example, in the case of table salt, and ACL, the crystals are made up of cubes of sodium, Na, ions and chlorine, Cl, ions. Each sodium ion is surrounded by six chlorine ions. Each chlorine ion is surrounded by six sodium ions. It's very repetitive, which is exactly what makes it a crystal. Different minerals have different molecular compositions. These molecular compositions form structures of different shapes. Table salt naturally forms cubic crystals. Quartz crystals, which are made up of silicon dioxide, CO2, molecules, form hexagonal prisms with hexagonal pyramids on either end. Snow is a form of ice crystal. It is is made up of water, H2O, molecules. These water molecules form flat hexagonal plane crystals. How do crystals form? Crystals can be formed in different ways. Some mineral crystals are formed when pressurized molten carbon quickly cools. That's how diamonds are formed. Other crystals form when the liquid from a solution evaporates. That's how a purple quartz crystal named amethyst is formed. Amethyst starts as a highly concentrated solution of silicon dioxide, CO2, containing trace amounts of iron. This solution gets trapped inside a bubble of lava. As the water evaporates, the silicon and oxygen ions slowly arrange themselves to form a crystal. The iron is responsible for giving amethyst its purple color. But crystals can't form in the middle of a liquid. They need a starting point to grow. The crystal can begin to grow once a nucleus has formed. A nucleus is also sometimes called a seed crystal. This process is called nucleation. In the case of amethyst, its crystals form on the inside of lava bubbles. Stones with crystals on the inside form as these lava bubbles cool. This type of structure is known as a geode. Facts about crystals It is possible to grow your own crystals at home or in a lab, but you also need to have a starting point for the crystals to form. This is why some commercial crystal growing kits come with a rock that is used as a nucleation site. Scientists who grow crystals in test tubes often make a small scratch on the inside of the tube to act as a nucleation site. That's because crystals can't grow as easily on the smooth surface of the glass. Once nucleation has happened, crystals can grow quite large if there is room and the growth conditions stay stable. Many of the largest crystals are found underground in giant geode caves. These caves are often discovered by miners who come across them while digging for other types of minerals. Most popular crystals 1. Amethyst A striking, purple variety of quartz which is best known for occurring in large, crystal-encrusted geodes mined in Brazil and Uruguay. While quartz itself is clear, amethyst gets its purple color from naturally irradiated iron inclusions within the quartz crystals. The more low-level irradiation it has been exposed to, over millions of years, the darker the color. Up until the 18th century amethyst was considered one of the most valuable gemstones along with diamonds, rubies, sapphires and emeralds until the discovery of large deposits in South America. While most of the amethyst on the market still comes from Brazil and Uruguay, amethyst can be found worldwide with countries such as Mexico, South Africa, Namibia producing beautiful specimens. Amethyst's combination of vibrant color, abundance and relatively low cost for large crystals and geodes lends to its popularity. 2. Azurite Azurite is a vibrant, blue, copper-based mineral that is commonly associated with another mineral on this list, malachite. The blue of azurite is exceptionally deep and clear, and during antiquity it was used as a popular painting pigment. It tends to form small, prismatic crystals, but also is frequently found in massive fibrous forms or nodules. One particularly interesting azurite formation is the disc-shaped azurite suns found exclusively in the Malbunka copper mine of Australia. The coloration, along with the contrasting patterns it forms when associated with other copper minerals makes it a hit among collectors. 3. Celestite Celestite or celestine is a strontium-based crystal that is best known for occurring in clear to pale blue colorations though it may also be light yellow. 
The vast majority of the celestite crystals being sold are coming from northwestern Madagascar where celestite often occurs in large geodes. Like amethyst, the affordability of large celestite geodes and crystal clusters lends to its popularity. 4. Citrine Citrine crystals are one of the most popularly searched for crystals according to Google. But, most people don't know what real citrine looks like. 99.9% .9 of the crystals sold as citrine are not actually citrine but are rather amethyst that has been heated in a furnace to make it orange. Natural citrine is quite rare and yellowish in color. Citrine and naturally formed as smoky quartz is slowly heated inside the earth, so citrine often contains smoky phantoms within it. 5. Fluorite Fluorite is a very colorful mineral that comes in a wide range of colors and crystal habits. It also tends to be highly fluorescent under UV light. Some of the most frequently seen colors are green and purple though it may also be commonly found in yellows, purples and pretty much any color of the rainbow. It often forms natural cubic, octahedral and dodecahedral crystals. Fluorite is very popular among mineral collectors due to the huge variety of colors and crystal shapes it can be found in. Thanks for watching my videos. Kindly like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.